This is a video months in the making and it's finally here. Oh, it's finally today. Hello and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, my name is Ness. I like to talk about books, specifically special editions from book boxes. And today is a very, very special day because I finally, finally have the Crescent City Fairy Loot Special Editions. These have just turned up. I think the expected delivery date on these was like March to April time and that just didn't happen and I saw some people getting their boxes last week and they were sending them out in batches. I think I'm pretty like near the end. Oh, I've been waiting for this to come for so long and it's not just an unboxing because it's also a book box battle. Box battle, book box battle, book box battle. Because I also do have the Illumicrate special edition books which I have a video for from a few months ago. They came ages ago. Just just like the Illumicrate ones, we're going to talk about the quality, the value for money, because these were very expensive. How are they compared to the original editions? So this is the generic thank you fairy loot card from when you just get a one-off special edition purchase. These are very well packaged. I mean, they want to be, considering their books were £75. What did you say, Vanessa? £75? That can't be right. No. <laughs> It's £75 for two books that I already own. I don't know when I lost my way with books and buying books and my buying habits for books, but I clearly lost it way back. Well, this has been an actual workout. I've never seen so much bubble wrap on anything. We are at the goods. Literally like two lots of this. And all nicely wrapped up, we have House of Earth and Blood and House of Sky and Breath by Fairy Loot. I am honestly, my arms are tired. <laughs> I'm gonna take the cellophane off. Um, I don't know how I feel so far. I feel like I need to wash my hands. This black material looks like it's gonna stain really easy. First impressions, I don't know. I don't know, we need to get it open. So I'm gonna talk about book one first. I really actually like this slipcase design. It is so fairy loot in that it's just throwing gold foiling at you. And I think that is kind of like a very nice mature way to display this on your shelves, but also that looks really nice too with the title kind of like that way because in the UK it's this way. It's Art Deco and I was, I, I don't know, I was saying this on my Illumicrate one I think that that has a slight Art Deco theme running through it as well but this one more so and I don't get like that from the story itself. On this side is Sarah J Mass's signature in foiling. These books are not signed nor were the Illumicrate ones but I think that this is quite a nice expensive looking touch. It feels good quality. I kind of thought that this would come in like a fake leather, but it's not, it's very cardboard. And this heart angel wing design is very nice and has one on it for it being for book one. I do like this cover, but all I'm gonna say is I just think if you're gonna redesign this cover, there's just, I don't know, I would have done something else with it. There's a lot of empty space here. And on the normal hardback design, it is so stunning. That tattoo fine art design is stunning compared to this, which it makes this look like Canva and the other one look like actual art masterpiece. So I'm not really overwhelmed with this cover design. I do think I like the main one. No, what? Hang on. <laughs> Bit of loss for words there, as you can see. I'm just having a look at the sprayed edge. I can't tell what this is supposed to be. It's not blended in, like the black and the red. It's just not blended in at all. It kind of looks like paintbrush marks, but then it's not down here. This is very odd. I don't like this. As much as I like the crescent moon idea and the stars, I don't like whatever's going on back here. On the back, a famous quote from the book, through love all is possible. Again, lots of gold foiling going on here, very art deco. <laughs> what I haven't really seen a lot of in this is underneath this. So let's have a look. So there is nothing on this side of the jacket. Bryce in gold on the hardcover. I really like this actually. Yeah, I do. Has the title on the side in gold and the same quote on the back. I really love the end papers though. <clears throat> I haven't seen the end papers before and they are, they are beautiful. I didn't think that they would do character art on this, but they did because obviously it's fairy loot. This gorgeous depiction of Bryce and also of Danica as well. That's beautiful art. And then on the back we have Hunt and Rune. There is also a ribbon bookmark in here, which I really like. The end papers is my favorite thing about this edition. Otherwise, I'm a little bit underwhelmed, I think. That is a nice touch on a special edition and the end papers are to die for, but for the price that 
if this is for two books hmm. it's also a little bit damaged from where it was put into the slipcase book two is very similar in that this is the heart wings with two on it to identify that this is book two very similar here this cover is also really similar but i do like the touches of this book that this one is more aquatic like and has an otter on it. If you've read book two you'll know that book two has more influence from the House of Many Waters in this. It's more aquatic really so it makes sense for the storyline even though this is House of Sky and Breath. I didn't feel like it was much Sky and Breath. The quote on the back of this one is lighted up and I actually preferred this book in my hands than book one. I think this one just looks more neat, more well done, better executed and a little bit more grown up. Again with the really really strange bizarre sprayed edge which isn't on braid but i don't know what it is it looks not as bad in this one in person this just looks really strange hunt is on the front of this book and on the back is lighted up okay <laughs> so the end papers are absolutely stunning but mine is damaged and it's such a shame because this is the thing that i actually like most about this whole set is the specific artwork on this page and it is damaged right here my fairy loop books always come damaged. They must think that I make fraudulent claims all the time to get like book replacements, but they just always, always come damaged. And I never really have this problem with Luma Croyot. Always fairy loot. The artwork on here is a truly beautiful depiction of Bryson Hunt though. Definitely my favourite of this entire set. Perfect. Bryce looks so good. On the back, I'm not sure who one of these characters is. To me this looks like Therion and Cormac maybe, but I don't know if it's supposed to be Cormac or Ethan, but personally I would say this is Cormac. You're gonna have to let me know who you think these characters are because I'm just not quite sure. This happened to me as well with the art in the Illumicrate edition where I just couldn't figure out who was who on one of the specific artwork pages. So that is the fairy loot set. Do I think that this was worth £75 plus everything else? No. No, I don't. No. <laughs> I like them, don't get me wrong. I would have liked them even more if I'd paid like £50 downwards. On shelves, this is going to look really, really nice. But I think I would have preferred it more without the Fairy Loop branding. That is also nice, but to me, just not in theme with the story. And if you're going to do a total change of something like this, I just think that it could have been done better. I just wish there was a better, nicer art. But the end papers... So we now are going to compare these books to the Illumicrate ones, which are also the same price, I think. The biggest difference between the two is that where Fairy Loot gives you a slipcase, Illumicrate gives you page overlays. Personally, I think better value for money is getting the page overlays because this, at the end of the day, is just really nice cardboard. And the page overlay art is absolutely stunning. And you can... People make these. You can buy these on Etsy. And when you do buy page overlays, like, for your other books... They can be very expensive. So to me, this is like 20, 25 pounds worth of page overlays. I wouldn't pay 20 to 25 pound for slipcases, but that's obviously down to personal preference. With the Illumicrate edition, you have just the normal design for the hardback editions. Fairy Loot, we get a complete redesign with really beautiful gold filing on this. Even though this does have gold filing for the crescent, it doesn't pop like this one does. Even though this is a complete redesign, I hate that I still prefer this. If they just wish Illumicrate had done just something else with this, changing this ever so slightly, but it just, I did say in the last video, you can't improve on perfection. And I think that this is a good example of that saying, because this to me has not been improved. It's too plain, side by side. That is a stunning Wow Me Away cover, that is too plain. In my opinion, although I do love that Fairy Loot, it did decide to do a complete overhaul of this book. That includes the sides, although Illumicrate did improve on for UK readers where they actually like straightened out this because in the UK hardcover one and two, they didn't match each other on where the orientation of the title was on this. So they did change that, otherwise they didn't change it at all. For the spine design, Fairy Loot completely wins this because that is just so stunning on shelves compared to this. And when you think about it, that's the thing you're going to see on your shelves the most. It's not that. <laughs> so props to Fairy Loot for that one, although that one wins the cover for me. In terms of digitally sprayed edges, these are like chalk and cheese. I've noticed that they both have ribbon bookmarks, so I can't favour one over the other for that. Illumicrate's stenciled edges 
just are so much better. They are exquisitely done. That looks like fine art. And when you compare them both, it makes the Fairlute one just look so amateurish. The way In the way it's been done, the Illumicrate one looks expensive. Just such good quality. Absolutely a win. I actually don't like this one at all. As opposed to Fairy Loot Illumicrate do provide an alternative cover underneath, I just didn't like this art at all and I would never ever choose to have it this orientation. But I do like that they did have an option for doing this if you wanted to, if you didn't like what they were providing. But again, why would you improve on perfection? So mostly I just ignore this. Hands down, the Illumicrate wins being naked for me. That is expensive looking. That is beautiful. That is the art deco -ness that I was referring to early on in the video that I don't think fits the book at all, but that is perfect. That is so fairy loot. <laughs> and that is kind of like something I would expect out of their monthly boxes. That is a special edition. That is just winning for me. On the backs as well, I prefer this to the quart. I think that that just looks more grown up and that's what I'm wanting right now. That looks more young adult. Although, if you want to find this quote on this book, you just have to turn it around here because it's there. So, I'm very surprised to say that with this Illumicrate, although Fairy Loot has put so much effort into this clearly. This is where I get kind of torn because as much as I absolutely adore the Fairy Loot end papers, I do have to give props to this beautiful Illumicrate design. I do prefer landscape art to character art and I was not expecting this when I first opened this book. They're not quite tied. Fairy Loot's end papers are absolutely stunning and if I could rip them out of this book and put them in the Illumicrate one I absolutely would but they suit each book. The Illumicrate end papers suit their design. This suits this design where it's more character based. I never thought that I would honestly be saying this when I initially purchased these books, which was a very long time ago. Can't believe I've waited so long. I never thought I would say this, but I prefer the Illumicrate edition. And these were the ones I was not going to buy. <laughs> I only bought these because I was having a very rough day. These are the ones I was really excited for coming. And I'm let down a little bit because I have these ones in my hand. And honestly, I never thought that I would give that to the book which has the exact same hardcover as the book that I already own because I already own a hardback that looks exactly like this and I bought it for £12. But it's everything else about this edition that makes it feel so expensive, such good quality and worth the money. Unfortunately, this one does not feel as good value for money. If I saw this in the shops in Waterstones for £75, I wouldn't pick this up. This is really going to come down to personal preference and whether you prefer characters over typical design and slip cases to page overlays. Even if you have both of these editions you couldn't really put the Illumicrate ones in these because they're so fairy loot branded which is a shame otherwise I would have done that. If you do want to see the page overlays and you haven't seen them I do have a video on my channel where I open them and look at each one. Well that is it from me today. I'm a little bit underwhelmed. I thought that I would be like screaming crying in this video and I'm absolutely not. I can't believe that between those four books that's like £150 plus spent on four books. As someone who usually buys books for like £2 used, I very rarely buy new books at all. I just I'm thinking about how many books I could have bought myself secondhand if with my usual buying habits if I didn't buy these. But I don't regret getting the Illumicrate ones. The Fairy Loot ones, a little bit. <laughs> Especially with the damage on the end paper. I was fully expecting that what I wanted to do with these books was put the page overlays in the Fairy Loot ones. But I just don't think they deserve it. <laughs> let me know your thoughts on these editions. Which one do you prefer? Did you get any of them? If you got both, let me know which ones you prefer in your hands. I think in person the Fairy Loot ones don't look as bad as in the pictures I've seen. But they're just, there's something about them. I'm not vibing. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.